After some gentle persuasion by Dr. Peter Rogers, the cheetah cubs are finally ready to leave their cage and get going to a safe new life at Kapama. They're an important addition because it's unusual for wild cheetah cubs to survive without their mothers. They will now provide vital new blood to a species that's been weakened by a lack of diversity. At the start of the century, there were hundreds of thousands of cheetahs roaming in the wild. Now there are only 10,000 left. Back at Kapama, Scarpi and Jabu are going for a walk. And while it all looks like play, this is an important part of a long-term plan to reintroduce Jabu back into a herd. Jabu's personal handler, Fawny, plays the role of mother, showing the young elephant where to find food. And while Scarpi is just doing what comes naturally, Jabu is following his lead, and in doing so is learning how to fend for himself in the wild. It'll be a couple of months before Doc Rogers attempts to introduce Jabu to other elephants. Knowing what to eat is a vital skill. An adult elephant can consume half a tonne of vegetation a day. At the end of the day, it's back to the safety of Kapama, where Jabu and the others can close the gates on the real world and escape the dangers of poachers and famine, but not disease. Cancer could easily have killed Bongani, but it seems this big cat isn't ready to give up his fight yet. There's no real lamp if you look inside here. There's no real lamp at all. It's just like, you know, see, it's been, it's been uh, chafing. This is where we took out the last one. And we took another one out here as well, you see. Doc Rogers decides that Bongani's wound will need to be protected from infection with a spray of antiseptic. Bongani is given the all clear for now, and the Kapama team is quietly confident that the cheetah will make a com complete recovery. Bongani should be back on his feet again in 10 minutes. A pioneer of medical research, he's helped prove that chemotherapy can help save the lives of big cats with cancer. In the next program, the new world of animal allies finds two orphan bear cubs rescued in Russia after their mother is killed. And a very sick kitten goes under the knife of animal ally Jessica Gower. There are ways to make